Hey, Clayton Bates here. In this video, I'm going to explain to you like how to pick what review app you should use on your Shopify store. Now, I get a lot of requests from Shopify experts um, through that program and potential clients and actual clients on what is the best review app to actually use. And you can use free ones, paid ones, photo review apps, things like that. And I'll just go through my thoughts and what you should do or give you an idea of what you should do sort of thing. So basically, when you're in the App Store, you can go here and, and type in review. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I have like a little secret for one of the paid ones that I've never heard anyone on YouTube talk about. And I'm going to share that with you at the end of this video as well. So basically here, you can go through and look at what review app you actually want to use. You can select free, paid, things like that. Um, the one I normally use for free is uh, product reviews by Shopify. Um, and the paid one I normally use is Luke's reviews. Um, normally 14 day free trial. If you use my link in the description, you get a 30 day free trial. Um, and if you're new to this channel, if you use any of my affiliate links, you can just shoot me a message and I'll do a video review of your website going over some tips and suggestions. Um, absolutely free, my way of saying thank you. So basically, product reviews is okay. It hasn't got the highest you know, rating ever, um, but it's been around a long time. I think it does an okay job. If you're on a budget, yeah, you can use that one, I think. Um, but if you have a bit of free money to spend on your Shopify store, I definitely think Luke's Reviews is a really, really good app. Um, it's here. So basically, what you're allowed to do on this app is people can leave photo reviews. Um, you can actually set it up to automatically email your customers after like one or two weeks. Like um, if your shipping is about a week, you'd probably email them in about 10 days, asking them to leave a photo review. If they leave a photo review, um, you can offer the person a discount as well. If you're drop shipping, I don't really do drop shipping anymore. I only work with people physical products. But basically, if you are drop shipping and you're watching this, you can actually import um, reviews from AliExpress as well, which is awesome. Um, you know, the, the reviews really, really help. The other great thing about Luke's reviews is you can actually do a couple of really cool features here. So you can actually build out um, a page like reviews and testimonials and actually change the template to the Luke's one and it'll actually display all the reviews as well. So when you start gathering reviews and stuff like that, the page will just keep adding those reviews there. Um, if you want me to show you how to do that page, let me know in the comments and I'll do a separate video um, just explaining how to actually build that page. Uh, the other thing as well, you can actually put the reviews section on the homepage. So a lot of homepages have like testimonial um, section where you manually type them in. Um, Luke's reviews actually allows you to put a carousel, or like a grid of the reviews on the homepage. Now, on a desktop, sometimes it doesn't look the best, um, but on mobile, it looks really, really good. Um, and that way, you don't have to manually add reviews and stuff like that. Most people that I see on their websites, probably like 80, 90% of them are getting 60, 70 plus percent of their traffic from a mobile. So the desktop doesn't matter as much. Some people, it really does. There still is a lot of niches that get quite a large amount of views on a desktop as well. Mostly like people that sell like elderly products and stuff like that, um, they normally get a lot more on desktop. The good thing about Luke's, it's got 4.9 stars. Like that is really, really good for an app that's had 6,000 reviews. Um, I really, really like it. Might just go through here a little bit. So you can check this out on the link as well. This is sort of what it looks like. That's how the reviews sort of display. It really does help conversions. Like you'd be very surprised like um, the difference photo reviews make. Now, a couple of stores have actually launched where when we've redesigned the website, it was going okay and stuff like that. And then when what we did is we put Luke's in the background. So we just had like a, our reviews page where the Luke's reviews were going there and it was emailing the, the customers and building up those reviews. And then once we'd built up a lot of reviews, we actually put the reviews onto the products and it made mu a massive, massive difference um, when people are starting to see like photo reviews and stuff like that.
Now, another cool thing that you could actually do. So I've actually had a lot of clients that sell like bakery goods, like cakes and stuff like that. And, you know, if you've got a product that, you know, it's pretty hard to get a photo of you. So basically, like if you're selling something someone's going to eat, um, by the time that email gets to them, they've probably eaten it already. So they're not going to leave a photo of you. Now, what you could actually do if you have a product like that is maybe send the automatic email maybe two days after they purchase and just say, hey, um, if you leave a photo of you or something like that, when you receive our product, um, we'll send you a, a discount code for 10% off your next order or something like that to really encourage someone to, and to like leave that photo of you. And the other thing as well, people might get excited, like I can't wait to get this package, can't wait to eat these goods, things like that. And you know, you, you'll you be able to build up those reviews as well. So that's a little ninja trick that I've never heard anyone talk about, actually sending the review request before someone even got the product. So that's something you could do if you have a product that is, um, you know, people aren't gonna leave reviews after they got it. Going down here, so this is a price for it as well. So $9.99 USD a month. 100 monthly review requests. Most people probably aren't going to use that all of that up in a month when they're starting out. Um, when, you, when you're getting a lot more sales, you might need to go up to this $30 a plan. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of thing. Offer discounts for photo reviews. Reviews, rating, and pop-up widget. Inline SEO, up to 500 processed orders. And then these are sort of the other ones. You can check them out as well. Um, so, yeah, that's some of the reviews here as well. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, let me know what review app you use. Like, I'd love to know what you actually use. Um, give me some ideas of content you want me to create. Um, because like I've said in a few other videos, I really want to give back on this YouTube channel. Um, YouTube really helped me in 2014-15. And I want to pass on my knowledge that I've learned over the years on YouTube for free. And I also want to do a lot of these videos for my clients um, to really help them after I've worked with them. So your feedback really, really helps. And I hope to speak to you soon. Check out some of the other ones. Got a lot of how-to videos and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to smash like and subscribe. I guess I had to say that. So yeah, <laughs> until next time, this is Clayton Bates and have a good one. Bye.